I call on Neil Bibby to open the debate. Seven minutes, Mr Bibby. Thank you, President Officer. Firstly, can I apologise on behalf of uh, Hugh Henry for not being able to uh, speak to his motion today. Unfortunately, he has had to attend a family funeral, but he was still keen uh, for this debate to take place. I am delighted to have this opportunity to talk about an organisation which has been instrumental in the fight against child neglect and abuse, and which has been at the forefront of child protection since the 1800s. The NSPCC was established in 1884 by the Reverend Benjamin Waugh, who, having witnessed high levels of child deprivation and cruelty in London, strove to draw public and government attention to the plight of children. Within five years, the Society had branches throughout the UK had, and had changed its name to the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children and has played a major role in changing the law to protect children with the passing of the first Prevention of Cruelty to Children Act in 1889. Since its establishment, the NSPCC has helped more than 10 million children and continues to be involved in groundbreaking programmes and its innovative strategies aim to find the best, most effective ways of helping children and to use its resources efficiently to reach as many children and young people as possible. Key areas that the NSPCC is making a priority include physically and sexually abused children, disabled children and children under one. The NSPCC has had a presence in Scotland through its links uh, with both Childline and the Centre for Learning and Child Protection. In 2010, Matt Ford was appointed the Head of Service in Scotland together with a team of experts to support the efforts of the charity in partnership with other leading children's charities to fund and add new services to those already in existence. This year, 2012, heralds a number of new initiatives aimed specifically at helping children and families. Child protection remains at the forefront, with programmes concentrating on the most important issues surrounding those children at greatest risk. Programmes currently delivered in Scotland include improving parenting, improving practice and parents under pressure. Improving parenting, improving practice is a groundbreaking new programme being trialled by the NSPCC to help parents to improve their relationships with their children. Renfrewshire is one of eight areas where the new programme, which is the first of its kind in the UK, is being piloted. The NSPCC believes that neglect arises as a result of poor parenting skills, together with the inability of parents to bond with their children, and holds the belief that early intervention can help parents change their behaviour by helping to eradicate emerging problems before they become long-term issues. Sadly, even in 2012, neglect remains the biggest reason for a child to need protection. The Improving Parenting Improving Practice Programme aims to reduce instances of neglect by helping parents of children between the ages of 4 and 10 years of age to bond better with their children and to have a greater understanding of their needs. Two approaches are being tested, and both are carried out in the, in the family home. Over a two and a half year period, 1,640 families will be supported in eight locations across the UK. One approach uses videos to film parents playing a game or getting involved in another activity with their child. And an NSPCC worker, social worker, will provide feedback to the parents on what they did well and how to better interact with their child. It aims to build parent confidence and the bond between parent and child. The second approach supports parents who, due to depression, family conflict or problems with their child's behaviour, cannot cope and, in turn, neglect the child. Through home visits and telephone support, the NSPCC worker will help parents with stress and anger management. The approaches will be evaluated to find out which, if either, is more effective in identifying, tackling and preventing neglect at an early stage. And I am pleased the evidence will be shared with the Government and the use promoted throughout the UK. Parents Under Pressure is another programme developed in Australia being delivered in Renfrewshire to vulnerable families. It is an intensive home visiting programme which runs for 20 weeks and aims to help parents who are undergoing treatment for se severe drug and alcohol problems bond with their baby and improve their parenting skills. The NSPCC is working with families with children under two and a half. A randomised control trial is being used to determine the success of the programme in preventing abuse 
and improving the parent-child bond. The Parents Under Pressure programme in Australia has proved successful in helping to keep children safe and in promoting a closer bond between parents and their babies. NSPCC programme teams work in conjunction with other agencies involved with the family and hope to reduce the number of babies and toddlers harmed by parents with severe substance misuse problems by providing them with the coping mechanisms, care, support and education necessary to help them to enable their child to have the brightest possible future. Child neglect is the most commonly reported child protection concern in the UK, with some studies suggesting that as many as 10 per cent of children are at risk. Such neglect is damaging to children in the short term and in the long term is associated with some of the some of the poorest outcomes and can have ongoing tragic effects from generation to generation. On the other hand, kindness and care is of ongoing benefit, making for a happier society, more dignified treatment and huge amounts saved on health expenditure. Accordingly, the role played by organisations such as NSPCC is a valuable and essential one. I have great admiration for the achievements of the NSPCC which raises the vast majority of its own funding, and for the relentless work of the organisation in tackling the problems of child neglect by helping to identify children at risk, raising awareness among practitioners and the public, sharing models of good practice, introducing new initiatives, and offering early support to children and families. Presiding officer, I am delighted that one of the pilot programmes underway at the moment encompasses Renfrewshire, and I will continue to ardently support the NSPCC's campaign in its fight against an issue which sadly has become a major feature of life in this country. Thank you very much.